because we're running them well from over here. Mmm, look at these fanatics. I can't believe there's so many of you guys. It's like, I feel like I'm outnumbered. It's, it's almost like I can't say that nobody agrees with you guys. It's like, oh, everybody agrees with you guys over here. <laughs> Keep it in the streets. Hey, Amen. <laughs> After this, we're going to Midnight Mosque. Are you going? I'm not a Muslim, but you, you can go without me, brother. We're going to go talk to him. What do you think about that? Hey, Amen. Just make sure you get on your bulletproof vest. You don't need one. It's a religion of peace. <laughs> a religion of blowing you up in pieces? Sure, sure. Hey Amen. I like I like this bright glowworm over there. It's just he's so bright. He's he says this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. So um, the title of my scope is uh. <laughs> It's dismemberment is better than hell. Jesus saves. In true chapter 9, uh, if you go to, to Mark 9 and you truly really is, my friend, uh, that's the teaching of Mark to your Bible. Um, what you would find is uh, it's better for you to um, cut off your hand than to spend eternity in a lake of fire. It's better to. Um, Chop your foot off than to spend eternity in hell. It's better to pluck out your eye. You, you, you like your eyes? Do you? How about? But no, that would be a that would be a bad thing. So plucking both of them out that would be good. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Since you don't really care if you're going to hell anyways. I mean, so what, so what we're saying, my friend, is that dismemberment is better than hell. That's the teaching. Now, the Bible isn't telling you to cut your hand off, uh, as some would say. I had a Calvinist on my scope one time telling me, so, are, so you believe every word of God is pure? Well, I said, yes, every word of God is pure. So you mean you believe that you ought to cut off your hand? Yeah, that's hilarious. I remember when I was four years old. Well, uh, back to dismemberment. <laughs> dismemberment, okay, um, <laughs> is better than hell. Amen. So, um, so here's the question, guys. Let me let me flip the screen because I because I care about you. I I love you. And I want you to be saved. And so, so listen up. Would you sell one of your eyes for a million dollars? Would you sell it? Let me pluck dollars. You'd say right out of your head, sell one of your eyes for a million, maybe, depending on, depending on if I really needed the money or not. Depending on if I had a lot of, of drug dealers to pay off. Maybe the mafia was coming for me and I needed to pay them off or they'll kill me. Maybe I'd sell one of my eyes for a million dollars. But no, say nobody's coming for you. Would you sell one of your eyes for a million dollars? And you'd probably say no. Now let's flip that. Would you sell both of your eyes for two million dollars? Both your eyes. And right there, you have to stop and you have to, to draw back and you got to think about that because you're not going to see for the rest of your life. You love your eyes. Your eyes are just the windows for your soul to look out of. How much more important is that you would rather, you would rather pluck out your soul. And the Bible says your eye, your eye, than to end up in hell. Dismemberment is better than hell. 
Jesus declares that in Mark 9. You would rather have no hand, no foot, and no eye than to end up in a burning lake of fire. That's how serious it is. Now, this is this is a pretty good thought right here. Now the the the, the nine the nine eleven towers. Listen listen to this. Do you remember they were trying to jump out of the building? You know how high those towers were? They were trying to jump out of the building, the towers, to get away from the fire. That's how serious it is. They were willing to plunge to their death just to avoid the fire. And you're telling me that you're lying to yourself, you're deceiving yourself. You don't fear hell? You're telling me, well, I'll just go there and have a party. Self, self deception is, is a real culpable thing, too. It's, it's culpable because you're guilty. You know, you know, judgment is coming. And I don't need to convince you. But dismemberment, dismemberment is better than hell. Let me ask you a question. Is dismemberment better than hell? Yes. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm looking for. I'm doing good night out tonight, ain't it? Hey, man. Statistics right now under for Christians. Hey brother, how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. It might be a little bit deep, but since you got a Bible in your hand, amen, I can see that you study. Oh, you've got, you've got the public ministry songbook. Amen. That's spiritual. Now I know I'm, I'm asking the right person. Okay, so... Is dismemberment better than hell? According to God, it is. But you wouldn't have an arm or a limb or an eye? And to live your whole life that way, you think it would be better than to go to hell? Because, I mean, I heard there's going to be parties there. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, my <laughs> offer to people who say that still stands. You set up the party, you bring all the girls, you bring all the, the alcohol, you bring everything you want for the perfect party, and I'll light the house on fire. <laughs> and let's see how long you party. <laughs> Not that long. Good answer. Amen. Appreciate that. How's it going, brother? Hey, man, I like your sign. Amen. That's, that, that, that's, that's pretty scriptural. That's right out of the Bible. Bible, ain't it? Romans 1.16. So is it true that, would, would that verse right there apply to you? It would. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. So I guess that would apply to you because you are standing out here on a street corner unashamed of Christ. The Bible says that hope makes let me ask you a question, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Get not ashamed. Amen. So, is dismemberment better than hell? Yes, sir. How so? Because what if you couldn't see anymore with your eyes and you, you, you just couldn't see? Wouldn't that be more miserable than going to hell? Because, I mean, I've been through wars and I've been through hell. Well... And even if you plucked out your <coughs> wars end, your eyes at 20 and you lived to be 80 and you had to deal 60 years of blindness, be better than 100 years burning in fire and 1,000 years burning in fire and 10,000 years burning in Ooh. fire. When you die, you're going to be dead a long time. So, so you'll be conscious though, right? So it's not you're not going to be floating in some abyss of marshmallows or anything like that. No. no? The marshmallows all roasted. Hey well. <laughs> man, good answer. Hey, how's it going there, brother? Hey, I like your sign. It says it's time to read the Bible, which means I bet you've read it, haven't you? Hmm. Which I've got a sincere question. It brings me to the thought 
that and to ask you now is you being a Christian would you think dismemberment is better than hell or hell is better than dismemberment dismemberment is better than hell absolutely but 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 why I mean well, what if I can't smell like, anymore I wouldn't be able to taste and if I want to eat steak you know that would be so miserable that'd be wouldn't that be worse than hell if I could eat a steak and taste it <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? Ooh. If you can taste and eat a lot of good steaks, it's not going to mean anything once you die and go to hell forever. I'd rather, I'd rather not be able to walk and not be able to talk for my entire life on earth and have eternity in heaven than go to hell. Very good. Good answer. How's it going there, brother? Doing well, brother. Hey, hey, man, appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. Hey, man, you're, you're out here tonight, hey, man, serving God. You've got a Bible and a track, some tracks in your hand, and you've got a shirt that says a firm foundation. I bet that's a firm foundation in the Lord Jesus Christ. Would I be correct? Yeah, you would be correct. Hey, man, so if he's such a firm foundation, would you be able to answer my question about is dismemberment better than hell what do you think can i ask you a question sure what do you think what do i think well i tell you what the lost people think the lost people think that dismemberment would be better because they're not scared of hell hell would just be something of just an idea or just some unconscious place i see the problem so maybe we could offer those people to buy a lighter and ask them if we could light their arm on fire. Mm. Now, now, what if they didn't have an arm? Ooh. Off, right? right. There'd be nothing there to burn. Right. That's good. So lighting them on fire would be the empirical evidence <laughs> that they wouldn't want to go to hell. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> if, if you wouldn't want me to burn just your arm. Right. <laughs> You want me to burn both your arms? No, of course not. No, no. But but hellfire is wouldn't be that real, would it? It'd just be a state of mind, wouldn't it? I don't think so. No, it'd be. I wouldn't want to take a chance. I think I'd rather just be safe. Just it'd be kind of like taking a chance on burning your arms and them not burning, right? Yeah. Be the same yeah. thing? Do you, I mean, do you yeah. think your arm would burn if I, if I pull out a lighter and held it under it? Well, there's a chance it wouldn't. Well, do you want to take that chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, man, thanks, brother. Oh, right here. Oh, I, I don't want to interrupt you guys. I mean, am I interrupting? Okay. Hey, brother, how, how you doing tonight? It was a story about, about you, an experience that you had with... Oh, hey, a yeah. That went to light his oh, certainly. But, um, I, yeah. On fire. Oh, yeah. I like your shirt, brother. It's very bright. Man. It's very, um, outgoing. It's like, it, it, it tell, you know what it tells me? It tells me that Jesus saves. Are you very loudly? Now, on that level where you really believe what your shirt says? Do you really believe that? I definitely do. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to wear a shirt that that didn't represent what I what I believe. It would be kind of kind of weird. Like I, I don't I don't wear Jimmy John saves or Subway saves or Pizza Hut saves, but I will wear Jesus saves. But but when you got that saves right there, I mean, how much does he save you at Walmart? <laughs> yeah, they save me and catch a goal. Shot. Yeah, a goalie shot, no, right? That's not my Jesus. That's maybe someone else's. So that's not even. So you're saying that there's a different Jesus is out there? Well, people, a lot of people make up their. Some people make up their own. Uh, the Mormons have have their own Jesus. The Jehovah's Witnesses have their own Jesus. Interesting. But I thought they're all this. They're all basically the same, though, right? Absolutely not. There's only one Jesus Christ. I mean, He's they all have similar. He's a sinless son of God, the Lamb of God, the Bible says, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he's, he's God in the flesh. And he's the only, only payment for sins. He said, come, he said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by him. Okay, so, Jesus, very good. Uh, very good answer in the question. It was uh, according to the shirt, amen. So you do, you actually believe in, you, you 
actually got a Bible in your hand and, and some tracks too. And you, you plan on passing those tracks out to people? Would receive them. But wouldn't that be like shoving Yes, I hope people would, would your religion down their throats? Oh absolutely not. I, I don't I don't put this near anyone's mouth, at least I, I don't intend to. <laughs> um, but, but some, something that would be this is an example of something that would be shoving uh, something down someone's throat is if you're say you're in Orlando, Church Street, Orlando, which is kind of rougher area, a lot of bars, a lot of clubs, and someone offers you a free drink ticket. Now that would be shoving something down your throat. Sure. They're, they're telling yeah. you to drink, drink this, drink this fluid, drink this poison. We're just telling you to trust in Jesus Christ. We're not asking you to put anything in your mouth. Amen. So let me ask you the question here now. Since I know you believe the Bible and you gave a, a gospel witness and testimony here. Um, is dismemberment better than hell? What, what does Jesus say about that? No, I'm asking you the question. Uh, what, well, I'm, I'm, what do you think? Would you rather be dismembered or would you rather be in hell? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to choose neither and thank the Lord that I, I can't go to hell and that's not because I'm a good person. But, but this is an either or kind of a question. Either or? I mean, what if it's both? No, it couldn't be both. It's an either or. What if somebody's dismembered and then they, they end up going to hell? Well, that's not the that that's well, not the paradigm. Ways, you no, that, that's not the <laughs> that's not the paradigm. Okay. The paradigm is either or. Well, Jesus said it would be better for you to. to Do you would you agree with that? It would be better. <laughs> go through life. So, with one. <laughs> it would be better to go through life with, without legs, without an arm, without a, at least according according to the Bible says it would be better to go through life. Maimed than so if you had a choice right now and somebody had a gun to your head and said either dismemberment or hell what would you take was he gonna shoot me in the head no that that's the paradigm me? that's the paradigm <laughs> I, it, it's i think it's gone too far i, I can't I, I lo you lost me in, in that one you lost me it's you're, gonna you're either it. gonna dis get dismembered or go to hell which one do you pick so, <laughs> dismembered or hell but he's got where does he have the gun pointed in my head <laughs> Dismembered or hell? Neither. You got to either or. You got to either or. You're the only one. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it here. Devin's the only one that can't answer the question straight. We'll move on. All right. For I'm looking for honest. I'm looking for honest. I'm looking for here. Well, dismem dismemberment is temporary. Hell, hell is eternal. But you didn't say that. You said you didn't know which one would be better. No, dis dismemberment would be temporal. Hell is eternal. But you didn't say that, though. I did. Jesus said it would be better to go through life. Okay. We're, we're moving on now. We're moving on. Amen there. Amen there, Rodriguez. Amen. I agree. Okay. I agree with your sign there, brother. Um, are you standing out here for the cause? Of Christ? The only cause, Jesus Christ. Okay. So the reason we're all alive today. Jesus Christ. So do you believe your son? I mean, do you really believe that? Of course I do. Is I mean, isn't that just an idea concocted by mankind? No? That you mean to tell me that Christ is really risen from the dead? Now, did you see that man rise from the dead? Uh, amen. No, but over 500 eyewitnesses did. So you got to trust the eyewitnesses in order to... It's called faith. Okay, so, you, so if I told you I had 500 eyewitnesses that saw Lucifer resurrect from the dead, would you believe me? No. Why not? I have 500 eyewitnesses. Because I don't have faith in Lucifer. I have faith in Jesus Christ. But I got a, I, but I got a, I got a book called the uh, Quran that teaches me Lucifer is God. <laughs> One of those. Amen. <laughs> okay. Doctrine of the devil. Amen. So, so you believe this by faith? It's by faith. So, would you call that blind faith? Well, I haven't seen it, so. So it would be blind faith? <laughs> I'm not going to put you on the spot. Okay, how about this? Is it better, is it better 
to be dismembered. Okay, somebody's uh, yelling and screaming at us and judging us. Let, let us be Muslims out here and come. All right, let me get back to my question here. Dismember you? Why are you judging us? Okay, is it better to be dismembered or go to hell? It's better to be dismembered. Some people just don't believe what God says. So. so what if? What, okay, so you lost your your both arms. Both legs. Would you rather have both arms and both legs cut off than go to hell? Amen. Absolutely. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I just have to wiggle around best I can. Amen. All right, here we go. Okay. How's it going, Scotty? Hello. Doing good tonight. Yeah. Amen. Like your sign. Yes. Why don't you read the Bible? Do you really believe it's your best choice? Yes, it's your only choice, actually. So Jesus Christ is your best choice, but you say he's your only choice. What about Buddha? Buddha is still great. He's still dead. He's probably burning in hell. But many people believe on Buddha. Yeah, but Buddha's not going to get you to heaven. Only Jesus Christ. He's the only one that rose from the dead. He's oh. Dead. They so, died for our sins and was buried and rose from the dead. So you're telling me because Jesus rose from the dead, that's why we need to believe on him? No, you need to believe well, you need to believe his death, burial, and resurrection. You need to believe that what he did on the cross. You need to believe that he can save you from your sin. He's not gonna save you. He's so, dead in the grave. So are we all sin? Because you can't trust Buddha because he's... Oh, is everybody, every human being a sinner? Yes. Really? We're all sinners. We're all but I know a lot of good people, Scotty. Well, according to who? I mean, he might be good according to... I mean, you might, you might do, be doing as bad as that other person's doing. You might be good at, according to, to yourself or, or the person next to you might say you're good because you've never murdered anybody or something. But right. you're still a sinner. So how so? Because you sin, you come short of God's glory. Like, give me an example. Like, uh, what do you mean, all sin? Starts all at way back in the garden. Well, I mean, no, no. Uh, oh, we're talking about me. Uh, like, uh, like, 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 am I a sinner? Yeah. You're like, a sinner. how am I a sinner? I, I'm, I'm a pretty good person. Have you ever told a lie? Well, well, everybody's told lies. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Okay, Scotty. Looks like you know what you believe. Hey, man. Well, here's the question. Amen. Oh, yeah, is it adultery right? Okay. Well, here's the question: Is it better to be dismembered or go to hell? Well, I would say it's better to be dismembered because it certainly wouldn't want to go to hellfire. Why not? Because I don't want to burn in hellfire. But I mean, hell is just a a, a figment of somebody's uh, imagination or a party. There'll be a party there or something, right? There's not gonna be any parties in hell. No party? Hell is a place of torment. Of Almost fire. every person, every person that I've talked to that was an atheist or an agnostic has told me. There's no. going to be a party there. No, there's not going to be a party. So there. no party. No, no party. Now what can, what makes you convinced that there's no party there? Because Jesus said so. Jesus oh. said there's, there's not going to be a party. In there. He said that hell is a place of torment. So that that would have been in the Bible, right? Yes. So in, in the Bible. Word, yes, in God's word. Yes. So God's word is God, is the final authority, yes, right? Yes, it is. So if God's word says there's a hell, yes. then. We need to believe that? More about hell than he did heaven. He said not to go to that place. He said it's, you know, where the worm dieth not. Okay, so, so... Even the rich man. So what you're saying is you would have your arms, your legs, your feet, everything cut off, and it would be better than going to hell. Yeah, I mean, it's going to keep me from going to hell, but, you know, the only thing that's really going to keep you from going to hell is believing on Jesus Christ. Ooh, nice. I mean, you know, nice. you did get your hands and stuff, but so if you haven't trusted Jesus, you're not going to go to heaven. You're right. Go to hell. Amen, Scotty. Even if you cut off all your limbs, you still anyway, go to hell. <laughs> well, <laughs> praise the Lord, Jesus. brother. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks for talking to me, brother. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. It's all this yelling going on over here. People yeah. screaming at people, judging people. You know, it says a lot about people's heart when they call preaching yelling. Got a peanut butter yeah. out of your house. Stop yelling at me! Judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. judge that ye shall judge. Amen. You're shoving it down my throat whenever those words are coming out.
out of your mouth. We're supposed to judge, but you know Joyce Myers? She won't be judging angels. <laughs> where, where, where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> That's in first Maccabees, I think. <laughs> That's the best part about the fellowship is uh, lost people can't understand this kind of stuff. Most saved people can't understand this kind of stuff. Amen. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. You need to put difference between believing and unbelieving <laughs> there needs to be a difference there if you find these guys over inside that establishment there's <laughs> they are not obeying the bible the problem Amen. what we need to do over here is witness to those people over there and tell them about jesus And 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 for them to get out, for them to get out, to be the best tool to help them, right? Of sin and into Christ, what's gonna right there? It's time to read the Bible, John five thirty nine. The Bible says, "Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me," says the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, believe on the Lord and be saved. Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt. No other way to get to God. No other way to be right with God. There's only one way. One way. One way. The Bible says, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven. Heaven, give it among men whereby we must be saved. The word must is saved to Jesus Christ alone. The word must, the only way. The word must, it's conclusive means that Muhammad's not the way, Buddha's not the way, drinking beer's not the way, smoking cigarettes is not the way. You better get Jesus Christ. Jesus saves. Trusting in everything but Jesus Christ. Fred, you better get Jesus before it's too late. You know what your problem is? That's why you're so rebellious toward The problem is, you have no peace with God. You got no peace with God. The Bible says, there is no peace, saith my God to the wicked. There is no peace. You know how? you can get peace my friend you got that empty void inside your soul you got that emptiness inside of you that nothing can fill you fill it up with fear you fill it up with smoking and, and drinking all these temporal things you fill it up with and, and drugs and shooting up and, and smoking that bong and you know what it's all empty Emptiness. You're empty on the inside. What you need is Jesus Christ. What you need is the Prince of Peace. What you need is Romans 5. Therefore be justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom also we have access. Don't you want access to God? Most people will say no. But the only way way to get access to God is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for when we, when we were yet without strength, were without strength to save ourselves, were without strength to do anything right in the eyes of God, were without strength to be good people, to go to heaven, were without strength to tried to, to do good works to earn salvation we're without strength but in due time Christ died for the ungodly
Scarcely, for scarcely, for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure, for a good man, some would even dare to die. Are you a good man? No, you're not. You're lying to yourself. But would you, dud man, let alone, would you die for a right die for a good man? You probably wouldn't die for a good man. No, you wouldn't die for a righteous man. But the Bible says, but God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us much more than and being now justified, justified, justified by His blood, we shall be righteous in His eyes, friend. Would you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Friend, it is better for you to cut off your hand than go to hell. It is better for you to chop off your foot than go to hell. It is better for you to pluck out your eye than go to hell. Friend, you better get Jesus Christ. He's your only way out. Friend, you're gonna die in your sin and what you're gonna say to yourself, I would rather have cut off my foot than ended up in this place. I would have rather chopped off my arm than ended in this place. Don't go to hell. What you'll find is there is no party. The party has been canceled due to a fire. Yeah, Amen. People brag about how hell is in such a big deal. Light yourself on fire and find out how good it feels. The proof that you're not lighting yourself on fire right now is proof you don't want to go to hell. Friend, you better trust in Jesus Christ. You better go to hell, friend. That's how serious it is. You'd rather chop off your arm. You'd rather be blind for the rest of your life than to go to hell. You better get Jesus Christ. You'd rather have both of your legs chopped off than to die and go to hell. You better get Jesus Christ. He's the way out. You need peace with God, friend. Jesus can only bring you peace. You need... You say, but I got joy in my drinking. Joy! Jesus is the only one that can give you joy. I got joy in my fornication. No, you don't! You got falsehood. You're trying to make yourself believe. You're deceiving yourself. Fred, you're empty on the inside. That's why you do what you do. You're empty on the inside. You got an empty void in your heart. You're empty on the the inside you have no real joy you're empty on the inside what you need is the one that can eternally fill you the lord jesus christ he died for your sins he was buried and rose again the third day he is able to justify you he is able to fill that empty void he's able to give you real joy he's able to give you real peace Real peace that don't come from a liquor bottle. Real peace that doesn't come from a bong. Real peace that doesn't come from cocaine. Real peace that doesn't come from, from fornication. You better get Jesus Christ before it's too late. Time is running out. 10 out of 10 people die. You'll not escape death for the wages of sin is death. The soul that sinneth it shall die the proof of your sin will be your death you're gonna die friend as it is appointed unto man once to die but after this the judgment are you ready for judgment judgment is coming and you'll be judged by the word of God what have you done with Jesus Christ believe Believe on 
the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. <laughs>